Teams fighting the raging wildfires that sweep through California are trained for potentially deadly risks. But now researchers at Stanford's Door School of Sustainability believe they may have to add one more to the list, toxic metals. A big part of the findings of our study are to alert first responders. Scott Fendorf is a professor of earth system science and co-author of the study. He and the Stanford team analyzed soil samples from the wildfire ravaged areas in Northern California. They found that the intense heat from those fires can transform natural elements in the soil into chromium-6, a toxic metal believed to cause cancer. As we heat up the minerals in the soil, in many cases, the soils have toxic metals in them, and specifically in this case, chromium, that gets transformed from a fairly benign form to one that becomes very toxic. And that is in the very small particulate matter. And that particulate matter could be the key threat if it carries the metals into the air and ultimately the lungs of firefighters and others. Dr. Sharon Chintraja treats and researches breathing issues at Stanford. And particularly when we inhale, it can actually travel to the farthest branches of your respiratory tract system um, and, then, and then essentially get embedded there. Professor Fendorf says the study was not designed to trace airborne metals, but he believes the discovery so far should raise an alarm. Given what we're seeing in the on the surface of the soils, the land, there's no way that you can have those fine particle, particulate matter that isn't also being transported in the air. He says the metals are contained in specific types of plants and soils, and identifying them could help create a kind of threat map to warn both firefighters and also cleanup crews working in a high-risk area. Plus, help better protect them from the toxic metal threat. Now, many people may be familiar with chromium from the film Aaron Brockovich about a contamination in a town's water supply. But experts told us airborne particles, if they're identified, could be even more dangerous than other kinds of toxic metal pollution. So, Dan, this is a double threat. Boy, it sounds like it. Stephanie, thank you very much.